I thought this would be a great video to do for all the unanswered questions there are about these little guys and the misconceptions that are out there. For example, they're called Skeeter Eaters, and yet they don't even eat mosquitoes. Let's dive in. Some people may know them as Skeeter Eaters or Mosquito Hawks. They have a bunch of nicknames, yet they don't actually prey on adult mosquitoes or any other insects at all for that matter. Isn't that wild? So how did they, how did they even get that name? Well, there are crane fly species with larvae that are aquatic and will feed on leaf debris and decaying vegetation and some species will eat other small insects including the mosquito larva. So that's where the misconception comes in. Some aquatic crane fly species larva might eat mosquito larva. I don't know how that turns into mosquito hawks and, and all this stuff. People are funny. But wouldn't that be nice if these guys were really cruising around eating mosquitoes for us, like bats do? Well, there are other crane fly larvae that burrow in soil and feed on shoots and roots and leaves in your yard. Um, other species can be found in decaying wood or in mosses or liverworts or even mud. They're beneficial decomposers and play an important role in the soil ecosystem. Many insects do that you probably weren't aware of. Not everything is a pest. They eat and process organic matter and material back into the soil, increasing the microbial activity. And yeah, look at them. They, they do resemble that of a large mosquito, but when they're in this stage, they're only going to live like this for one to three days. Their only mission is to reproduce, so they might not even eat at all in this stage. There's no need to. They don't even really have mouth parts. That's also why they are completely harmless to humans. They, they can't bite. Their entire adult life stage is only 10 to 15 days, and their overall lifespan from egg to death is around six weeks. During their short lives, all kinds of predatory insects and beetles and birds, bats, lizards, spiders, fish, praying mantises, you name it, they're all going to feed on these guys. And because of their abundance and use as food for all these other animals, they again are of tremendous ecological importance. It's actually amazing how many families and species and super families and subfamilies there are when trying to classify them. There are so many different kinds on top of all the others that have already gone extinct. There are more than 15,500 species and over 500 genera. And for all this information, it's appropriate to thank Charles Paul Alexander, who was an American entomologist who specialized in crane flies and published descriptions of over 11,000 new species and subspecies from 256 new genera and subgenera over the course of 71 years, from 1910 to 1981. He also became professor of entomology at Massachusetts Agricultural College at Amherst. Crane flies first appeared during the Middle Triassic period around 245 million years ago, which would make them one of the oldest known groups of flies. They've been around forever, They're like little wizard flies. Yeah, they just went from little skeeter eaters to wizard flies. And although found worldwide, individual species are usually in limited ranges. Some different families of crane flies are the Cylindrotomidae, they are the long-bodied crane flies. They already have 20 extinct species, but there are more than 65 species of them currently worldwide. There are hairy-eyed crane flies, which are 500 species worldwide. There are large crane flies, over 4,300 species. There are winter crane flies. And there's a family, Lemoniidae, the largest of four crane fly families. They have more than 10,700 species. They can be distinguished by the way they keep their wings in a rested position. Notice how they fold the wings over the back of its body, while other crane flies might hold them out at right angles. There are so many different kinds, it's impressive, and almost too many to list. Listen to all this, there's the European crane flies, marsh crane flies, giant crane flies, Eastern crane flies, 
Western. The giant eastern and giant western. There's spotted. There's spectacled. There's band winged. Australian tiger. The common brown. Antlered. Swamp. Sooty. Western phantom. Helms alpine. Edwards alpine. Mountain crane flies. Pygmy phantom crane flies. There are so many. Who knew? Who knew? Man, look at this guy I found in some gravel. He's winding his life down. He's already lived his fast life. Remember, they're, they're only in this stage for a few days. And I can see here, he's, he's missing a leg. He had himself a wild time. But look at this. Look at these body parts. Wow. They have these little things. They're, they're called halterers. They're like modified hind wings that function like gyroscopes. And it helps them maintain stability during flight. How fascinating. I love it. Just constantly expanding. Thanks for watching and exploring with me, from putting to rest old myths to finding unique appendages on one of the crane flies I caught. We're always finding something incredible and new right here at Whacked Out Nature. We'll see you on the next one.